Yo, what's going on guys? It is Shabs, aka Shabs Gaming HD, and finally the face cam is here guys. As you can see, I like the quality, it looks pretty good. Uh, I'm definitely going to customize the back there, I don't know what I'm going to do. Maybe a green screen, or I'm going to just put a Canada flag there and customize it with FIFA jerseys and stuff like that. Uh, you know how we're going to rep the home team. So, as I was saying, uh, we're going to talk about the market crash and whether or not, wh what my opinions are on it, and whether or not you should spend your coins and what you're going to do with them. Uh, and also, the FUT Champions rewards are here, so we're going to definitely be doing that. But before we do that, I want to talk about the market crash. So basically, as you guys know, it's every year this happens around uh, Black Friday, Cyber Monday. EA releases packs after packs after packs. You know, they got the lightning rounds, the 100k packs, 50k packs, 35k packs. You name it, they're going to release all of those to get players into the game to kind of uh, do their own version of Black Friday. Uh, but yeah. That's going to happen again this year, but I think there's a wild card that has never happened in FIFA before, and that is Weekend League. But Champions is going to change it this year, in my opinion, because everyone wants to get the best rewards they can, because why not, you know? You play the game 40 games, you play, you pretty much dedicate most of your weekend to the FUT Champions, and you want to get the best rewards you can. How do you do that? Well, obviously you need skill and everything, but one of the main reasons you can get the higher prizes is by having a better team. How do you do that? Spending coins. So, I also have like 1.03 million right now, as you can see on my screen. Uh, I don't know what to do with my coins yet, but I know I'm going to spend them for sure because FUD Champions, like, uh, if you don't utilize all your coins, you're kind of at a disadvantage, especially when you're ranking against the top players in the world. Uh, if you have, if you do, like, if you get into Gold 1, Elite, Top 100, you got, you already know everyone's rocking high teams. So because of that, guys, the market crash, as you saw last week, uh, I'm a big believer and history repeats itself. And what I mean by that is, like, Last weekend, so everyone thought that the market crash was going to have a slope, a downward slope for the next two weeks, uh, and it's going to plummet and that kind of thing, and that didn't happen. We saw that it didn't happen. Last weekend, uh, last week, the whole week actually, player prices dropped, but then Wednesday came up and it spiked, it skyrocketed up, because everyone is like panicking, they're like, wow, I just got my rewards, I want to do good again next week, so I need to get the best players I can for my team, and the player prices just skyrocketed again, and it makes sense, it makes sense, because they want to get the better players, so... Because of that, this weekend, it might be the same. You know, if you kept your players and you're selling them now, I would hold on to them until Friday or maybe even Saturday, which is probably the hot zone where your player is going to be worth the most. Uh, I would even argue Friday is probably the better day because people are going to be making their squads on Friday. Uh, but yeah, if you hold on to them until Friday and then you sell them, but if you're going to buy players on Friday like I am, you're going to lose a lot of coins, okay? Because Cyber Monday, when that hits, FUT Champions is done. And packs are still rolling out like it's nothing. And that's when it's going to plummet. But here's the other thing. Once it does plummet, once Friday rolls on next week for the first uh, week for the first weekend league in December, the, the price is gonna go s gradually up. But I think it's gonna level out to a point where it's gonna stay stabilized for the rest of FIFA until obviously Team of the Year comes out. Guys, that's my two cents on the, on the weekend league and how it's gonna affect the market crash per se. If you want to bank in on your coins, guys, and, and you want to and you want to keep the most amount of coins you can. Honestly, I would advise you to make a cheap OP team. Try your best to get as many wins as you can. And hold on to your coins until Monday. And then Monday, man, just just cash out. Buy whoever you want. That's just my two cents, guys. And it obviously does. It's made sense. And it's probably going to happen. But we don't know. This is the first FIFA where the market crash has happened with FUT Champions in it. We don't know. We won't know until it happens. But guys, subscribe for daily content around here. You know how it goes. We upload daily. Let me know in the comment section below what else you want to see on this channel. And I'm going to be opening my FUT Champions Rewards Pack right now to, see, to show you guys what I get. But as always, guys, have a good day. Peace.